Check out this leak that we saw in a crawl space of a home that we recently inspected. There was water standing all around this little pot and the pot was also full of water. And it's coming from that right there. That is called a saddle valve. If you're not familiar with a saddle valve, this is what one looks like. You have that little T-handle at the top there, and as you tighten that down, that needle in the middle of the picture there actually pierces or taps into a copper pipe, and the only thing stopping it from leaking is that piece of rubber around that needle, which can become dry rotted, which is why they are actually against code. Saddle valves are very prone to leaking. You can see here in the 2021 IRC, in the plumbing section under fittings, it actually says very clearly that saddle, um, saddle valves and saddle tap fittings are prohibited. So we see these all the time. You can actually see these right here on a brand new home where there are two saddle valves, one on top of the other one. So we're not only still seeing these on existing homes, but we're still seeing these on brand new homes that were actually uh, installed by licensed contractors and were approved by the local building department when they did their inspection. These are most often going to go to whole house humidifiers and refrigerator ice maker lines and that sort of thing. It's a pretty easy fix to have these replaced. You can see in this video here, they are removing a saddle valve and just adding a normal everyday shuttle valve.